What we do here is go back, 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 back. All right, so I'm going to explain my reasons on why I haven't been making a video for a minute. Once this video is out there, I'll be back to my normal content because this is about to be the most personal video that I've ever made because unfortunately I have been a target for online harassment about a few videos back earlier this year I did mention on one of my YouTube videos briefly on uh, one of the catching a pedophile videos I did mention that there was a character named Dante aka Homelander who was known for harassing myself and other people in the IWC with false allegations this time he went as far as to i would say for like 15 seconds you know quote cancel me because on my personal time i was gooning over my favorite wrestlers and just to add on to this these were private messages between myself and close people that i know outside of the platform it's the fact that y'all are more mad about the context of what's happening than the fact that someone had used a burner to invade a private group chat and posted it just to gain cloud attraction and to slander people just because they were exposed for being a p***o. And ironically at the same time when Dante had posted that said screen recording that said proof of myself and others being weird it was going on at the same time when this user by the name of sk was exposing ria's fans for worse worse shit and i'm gonna link this shit in the description for y'all to read as well this man took the opportunity of ria fans getting exposed to spin the narrative as a targeted hit towards myself and other people's due to the fact that Dante was called being a foul and when he had invaded the very discord he got that screenshot from we had found out who he was and was removed he was very bitter just remember y'all ate that shit up y'all took that shit and ran with it because most of y'all had an encounter with me and I know how I am on uh, wrestling Twitter with my statements and my responses and it, and it rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. However, it's my opinion and we all have opinions. It's like assholes. You let your hatred, your misjudgment, your beef or whatever petty reasons you have with me along with other people that was involved clout your judgment just so you can make yourself look good or absolve the sins that you had when we all called you out for the shit that you did yes i'm talking to the racist people i have screenshots of the racist people saying the n-word saying the coon word which is in that very record that very thread that sk has made if you're very bitter from that it's okay but Believe in Dante of all people should really give you a smack on the face. And once again, I'm going to say this. If anybody on Twitter that came here to watch this video and expect an apology from me, get in line because I'm not apologizing for the same shit y'all do on the timeline every single day. And if y'all want to come at me and act like y'all are holier than thou, I better not see none of y'all post heart eyes, tongue emojis, or everything about your favorite wrestler again. Bitch, you got me fucked up. You can suck my left nut. Dante Williams, aka Homelander, aka Cohen, aka Exposer, aka Exposing Stands, aka a lot. He has a lot of accounts under his nudge this guy is a d1 stalker and i'm gonna tell y'all about how the fuck we got here so let's take a trip to early summer of this year <laughs> during the time in the iwc also known as the internet wrestling community it was a situation that involves two ria fans who are australian that had was like getting exposed for that some racial remarks racial slurs microaggressions such as the term coon 
and I will mention this, coon is a derogatory slur that was used towards African Americans during slavery and it should not have come out of your mouth. While all this was going on, Dante, but under the pretense of Homelander, had gotten in contact with myself and my first ever Twitter friends in the IWC by explaining that he still has more, he has information of the two people that was involved, how one of them called him a black bitch. Me, you know, being supportive, towards anti-racism and human rights, Black Lives Matter, I always hop there. I always hop to the occasion when it comes to racism. We accepted him in with open arms because at the time we didn't know Dante's true colors. Dante was saying how much he dislikes these people, um, how much he this, how much he doesn't like these people, how much he dis how much he hates them, how much he wishes this and a third, like it's on the screenshots on the screen right here. And I had a very off gut feeling about Dante, but I, at the time I didn't know what it was. So at the same time when this was happening, everybody stopped and paused because a big exposed account had came out and that exposed account was IWC Hollywood. So IWC Hollywood was like an off brand TMZ, but for wrestling Twitter to expose the users that called themselves doing something wrong and all that, and the two Rhea fans who had said racial slurs was the topic of that. It was a documentary that was dropped about them and everybody on the internet went nuts. It was on it was on everybody's Discord, it was on Facebook, it was on the timeline. Everybody went nuts for it. What fucked up the account was them posting an article about those two said Rhea fans had dated. Somebody, and shout out to y'all, they had used a image reverse and discovered that the article never existed. So IWC Hollywood wound up getting found out who they are and the person behind the account was Cohen. Cohen has stated children should not be on this app and just other vow things. Everybody has stopped, everyone has started unfollowing the account and the account deleted itself, they changed the name to Crash, and they add name to You All Ruin Me. So, everybody in IWC rejoiced and was happy that IWC Hollywood had ended, but the Rhea Steens did learn a lesson and took accountability. However, still to this day, they wanna backtracking and say that they're not racist. Um, God bless them. <laughs> Everybody was happy that the account got taken down, except for one person, which was Homelander, aka Dante. All the energy that he had just went away when he saw that everybody was supporting the two Rhea fans that was involved in that defamatory story, the defamatory doc uh, documentary, and. He accused me and others of being friends with them because we were the people that brought the entire IWC together to stop all this. And I was confused and asked what was their problem. And then I asked a faithful question. Are you Cohen? Homelander had crashed out and started checking every red flags that I have seen within a user. So, I wound up calling in a favor. So, the favor I had called in, I had got in contact with one of my friends who was a tech nerd and knows how to get information off of people from the internet. Once we had compared the accounts of Homelander, aka Dante, and IWC Highwood, aka Cohen, it was the most damning conclusion to the story. Dante was IWC Highwood. Okay, so this is the part where I'll have to explain the process of this IP address phishing because I cannot post this part on YouTube that will be me violating the terms and conditions and the guidelines and I'll be taken down so my tech friend had gotten the links of both IWC Hollywood and Homelander's account and put it in a database and that is how we got the matching coordinates and numbers of both accounts the location that the accounts were located in, same address, same area, same timing, etc. 
and it was a complete match for Dante. And once the evidence came out in this thread that I have made on my Twitter, please take five minutes of your time to actually read through everything. Don't skim through it, just read it, and it will tell you everything about Dante. Once that thread had came out, Dante had accused me of lying, saying this, that, and a third, and resorted to calling me a pedophile. It felt very odd of uh, someone saying that because the power of false accusation can ruin someone's life. Not only that, I wasn't guilty of all this because I told him that I dared him. I dared him to post it because there is no proof of me being a creep. There's no proof of me doing anything weird. It's proof of me fighting for the people who got harassed by pedophiles. And once Dante had made that accusation towards me in these screenshots, there you see him backtracking saying, oh, this could have all been avoided if you didn't say I was Cohen. If I'm gonna go down, she's going. Ghost is going down with me. Ghost is also my alias on Twitter. This was the very beginning of his revenge part. Once he got exposed for the first time, it wasn't the end of it. I had made two spaces, which is the equivalent of Instagram Live or Facebook Live for Twitter. Both spaces have three hours recording of everything Dante has said and done, and I will play it just mind you most of the most of these clips is not for the faint of heart feel free to skip it but this is very important for y'all to listen why is your ip address is identical why did you snap when people said that they don't want to be friends with you why maybe, are you posting maybe, bro, why did you why did you post that why did, why did you post she who will not be named because she don't want to be named why did you post them? Okay, no, because to because they told you to chill. Because they told you to stop defending them. Okay. No, Basically, you couldn't handle being called a dick eater. Okay, because first of all... People coming out saying that you did something and they have proof of that. Bro, and, and, and the proof is me that, being apparently you... homophobic, blah, blah, blah. I know all this already. Gonna... I've been about this already. But some of these allegations do got to come out with some truth, though. Like, Chloe, I... Yours, I know you said you put it on your life, but I hope you didn't put it on your soul. She but, put it on her life, but she ain't put it say her soul. I put it on my life because I'm not a liar. I've never lived once on this app. Well, I think that's a damn mean, lie, but I'm gonna hold you to your word. Hey, IWC Homelander, why the f you keep thinking I'm this fake account making movies and bro? Like, that's what we not gonna do. I don't even know what the f that is. Is this What's up? Nigga, yeah, you the one who texted me out of nowhere. Cause I don't yeah, have. Yeah, nigga, I want to join DM. the group chat. Yeah, I'm not even in any group chats. I've been in the group chats. Got banned out of them bitches, nigga. Cause you wanna know why I found you? <laughs> I mean, you said my tweet popped up on your timeline. Like I did not. No, actually, I found let you let because speak. I went on let somebody. Speak. I went on somebody profile that I was neutral with, and you was beefing with them. I ain't gonna say the name. With? I mean, I'm only beefing with people who saw with me. Like, I mean, yeah, it's crazy because if you look at what that home, like the um Hollywood account is doing, that involves, and they're like a fucking, like they like kids. They're a child diddler. They're exposing like stuff that is not supposed to be exposed. They lied about some criminal allegations on a lot of people. They were trying to drop a movie today, but we prevented that shit from coming out because apparently when Homelander started crashing out, the Hollywood account started crashing out, and the Hollywood account deleted itself. Well, not deleted, but it, like, dis disactivated itself. This nigga IWC Homelander is born in 1999, bro. Get your grown ass off this fucking space, little bro. <laughs> you, your big grown ass. Don't think I'm Dude, a fucking shut up. WWE I don't like ghost, man. exposed account. <laughs> yeah, big right anyway. Grown, like, shut the fuck up. I ain't, I ain't talking to you, bro. Shut up. On your ass, I ain't talking to you. I never fucking say I'm a fucking exposed account, nigga. You nigga, born I'm blocking in fucking you. 99, nigga. This right here is a prime example of somebody that got caught and they had deflected, crashed out, tried to manipulate, and blaming everybody in real time. So despite the mask being off, Dante did not let this go. So let's talk about the Discord chat. The owner of the chat, I'ma uh, refer to them as Jane Doe. If y'all know who they are, then this is the part. Once y'all watch this video, y'all owe them a very big apology. Big apology. 
they were targeted as well in this entire whole thing all because dante was rejected by them and when i'm being my dad they didn't want to be friends with him because of the weird shit he was doing and he crashed out they almost called the cops on him the recent targeted tag that he did under the exposer account he got what he wanted which was jane doe leaving the app however just remember what had happened that got to this point why would he of all people celebrate the person leaving the app myself and others getting clocked because like i said before exposer is dante if dante did not have no involvement with the exposer account why is he celebrating it's on the screen right here why is he celebrating why is he saying finally putting the false allegations behind me read the threads i made read every link that i had dropped in the description and it will tell you a lot and it will give you a big smack on the face so anybody that let this man in y'all circle in y'all group just remember who you're inviting just remember the type of person he is if you search up dante in the iwc or ask anybody about dante they will send you this picture they will send you all of his pages in his current one which is art is beautiful one who would have beef towards myself and others to go this far as to call themselves expose, exposing us for goonie dante why him because we all expose him for being a pedophile a confirmed pedophile he had messaged another Jane Doe at the time they were 17 and he had flashed his meat at her. You sent your meat to all the underage people and of age people on this very app and in the wrestling community. And you feel good that they're taking you serious because you got engagement. So to anybody that made it this far listening to this, how do you feel now? How do you feel now? And I'm talking to the IWC Twitter followers, Twitter users that came here. How do you feel now? Do you feel stupid for believing this man? Do you feel disgusted? Do you feel appalled? That is exactly how I felt. I felt disgusted that y'all listened to him. I felt appalled that y'all listened to him. And I am ashamed that y'all listened to a pedophile. So do not ever expect help from myself or anybody that has been dealing with this stalker since july of 2024 y'all are on your own if he comes after y'all do not come to me for help the same people that had still to this day tweeted about that y'all are believing dante and once he makes a tweet about y'all calling y'all a pedophile falls accusing y'all y'all on your own so other than that, thank you for taking the time out of your day to actually watch this video and be educated on what who y'all dealing with. And shout out to my man's Alex. This is his YouTube account. Uh, he had mentioned more about this as much as I did in the six minute view. So if you guys don't want to sit through this long video, I will put his there here's a little clip of it oh we start a big thank you and shout out to my friend many two times who is also known as ghost on twitter who helped me collect information and helping me putting this video together i will put both accounts in the description stepping into act one if you ever discovered a creep on the internet you might know how creepy and disturbing a person can be which is the case when it comes to dante going around twitter or now known as X, where he had some weird things to say towards most users inside the community. As an example, trying to flirt with women he doesn't really know, let alone ever really came to any sort of contact with, and then immediately switching into insulting them should he get rejected or ignored. To make it worse is that not only complete strangers are unsafe from him on the platform, he would even comment on female wrestlers such as current NXT Women's Champion Roxanne Perez, as you can see here in this shot. Besides that, he would even go after people's parents and kids by making disturbing remarks, as you can see here in those screenshots. 
Not to forget he would also start talking about playing with himself because of a space room that was going through the community for some sort of reason. Father I So if you feel like this is long, if y'all have six minutes, feel free to watch that. Because y'all need to know the truth about the person y'all are inviting in y'all community. Stay safe, stay vigilant, and stay positive.